Welcome back to Riverside Royals Dynasty. Today we have our first bowl game ever. Taking on 7-5 and five Rice in the SoFi Hawaii Bowl. Let's go ahead and, and look at some of the other bowl games. Where can I see schedule? Is that an ESPN? Gotta be. Here we go. Any particularly interesting matchups in here? A lot of bowl games, obviously. I wish we could see rankings in here. But as you can see, the national championship will be LSU and Alabama. Got Florida State and BYU playing in the Orange Bowl. Cotton Bowl is Indiana against Texas. You have the Sugar Bowl, Rutgers and Notre Dame. That's an interesting matchup. TCU and Michigan will play in the Fiesta Bowl. Where is the Rose Bowl? Penn State, USC. Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. Why, are they, why is that down here? Why is that on New Year's? I don't know. <laughs> Georgia, Iowa in the Outback Bowl. The Citrus Bowl is Ohio and Western Kentucky. The Peach Bowl. It's always a good one. Florida, NC State. The Alamo Bowl is UCLA, Oklahoma. I feel like those are the big ones. Cheese it Bowl, maybe. I mean, that's Oklahoma State Clemson. Seems like a good matchup. But if you guys didn't see the end of the last episode, showed off the Heisman winner, it is Will Levis. You know, a lot of these other guys did win awards. A lot of All-Americans. As we'll check out that list before going into this episode. As you can see here, there's not going to be a ton of Riverside representation overall. But Greg Hall is your first team All-NCAA, All-American middle linebacker. Love that for Greg Hall. Second team, no Riverside Royals. Reggie Gonzalez does make the all-freshman team. So love to see that. Phil Walker does as well at defensive tackle. And then, of course, the secondary. Tim Washington. They must have been watching a different Tim Washington. Bruce Clemens and Joseph Brown back there as well. I mean, our secondary is so young. These guys are only going to continue to get better. So super excited about that. And then we'll also look at the all-Mountain West team. Should be a lot of representation here. As we have our entire D-line, Joel Pitts, Adrian Chandler, who should have been an All-American, by the way, and Phil Walker. And then we have Greg Hall, Craig Jackson, who was amazing, Ezekiel Sims, Alan Hart, Bruce Clemens, and Joseph Brown. Second team has Andy Byers, who, man, it's going to be so sad playing without him. Reggie Gonzalez, Michael Hamm, and then on defense, we have Malik James. Today, unfortunately, we must say goodbye to, you know, players that have been so big for us the past couple seasons, Joel Pitts, Andy Byers are the top two, but Ezekiel Sims is gone. Willie Briggs, the fan favorite, will be gone. Denario Watson, who I thought is a 40 overall for most of this series, will be gone as well. Those are kind of the big ones. Aaron Duvall has made some pretty big plays for us over his career. He'll be gone. Joel Thomas, starting left guard, is gone. Pop Jackson was pretty good for us last year be his final season with Riverside as a Brewer as well let's go ahead and take on Rice they are ranked a little bit better than we are but this is our final game of the season let's go out with a bang looking for our first bowl game win ever this is our first bowl appearance ever so let's go 1-0 all time the rain is pouring not exactly a fun environment for a bowl game very sad. Coach Dengus doesn't seem to mind. Where are we, by the way? Where is this? There is Rice seeing some, maybe some highlights to come. This is going to make Rice look a little bit better than they are. Because this will be, this will be a Riverside Royals win. I'm sure of it. I'm not sure of it. Our last two games have been losses. But I am super excited to the first bowl game ever for the Riverside Royals. We are at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu, Hawaii. That's right, it's the SoFi Hawaii Bowl. Kind of forgot, although it was just SoFi, but SoFi Hawaii Bowl. And this will be one of the first rain games we've actually played in. I think the end zone behind us, by the way, says Monarchs, which isn't quite right, but it's close. Last game for some big seniors. Let's go out with a bang. I'm looking for Andy Byers' best game ever. Humphrey starts us out with seven. Getting out with Byers. 
Going inside, show off the moves. Andy Byers makes a man miss, slides in front of a would-be tackler as he will go and drag the Royals on his back into Rice territory. I don't know what they're doing, but it's Rice, so how surprised can we be? Are you ready for a little read option? Gonzalez will get it, cut back, first down. Quick throw, Duvall up the seam in his final game. The senior hits the senior. Aaron Duvall, 28 yard gain right up the heart of the defense. Looking for options, not really liking them. They're just gonna be flushed out, forced to throw it away. Zone coverage on the goal line can be scary. It really can be because they take away, you know, your instinct of wanting to throw the football quickly. But we're going to back them off the line here and choose to run the ball with Reggie Gonzalez. Space up the middle. Untucked into the end zone is the true freshman Gonzalez, who will cap off a pretty good season. He wasn't too bad. Wasn't anything special. Even though he showed glimpses, flashes of being a special player. Wasn't special this year, as we would have hoped, but was still, you know, serviceable. Defense taking the field for the first time. Rice, of course, on offense. Ottaviano is the tailback. He'll take it and break with Greg Hall. Tackle. Is he going to be the next freaking running back we got to deal with? Juma Ottaviano. 1,000-yard rusher this season. 14 touchdowns as well. Certainly not bad. Oh, that surely he's not still going. <laughs> uh, this game sometimes makes me laugh, sometimes makes me cry. I have no idea how that ever got any space. Or so, I, I, I can't even fathom that. Third and inches. Running out of the eye for him. They're actually going to pass. Johnson's actually going to try and take off, and he'll be sacked. Big hit by Greg Hall. Does he get credit for the sack, though? Who are they going to give that to? You know, I wonder. As Anderson is a sprained elbow. Man, we're going to miss him. I definitely know who that is. Fourth and three. Rice will get a field goal up. And that one is right down the middle. And Rice is on the board. Royals still holding the lead. Seven to three. You know, it's fun to go to Hawaii for the bowl game. I mean, that's like best case scenario. You get to go to Hawaii. But it's not fun when it rains. And it's pouring here in Hawaii. Is not the way we wanted to go, Willie. It's going to be clipping too. Ah, oh, geez. And clipping it was. Tyrus White. Oh, of course. Yeah, Tyrus White. Are they letting anybody onto the field for the bowl game? What are we doing here? I know it's meaningless, but we want to win. Need Coach Dangus to have a perfect record in bowl games. You're an idiot for making that tackle, moron. Loser. My strategy is hopefully uh, yelling mean things when the opponents make a good play will discourage them from making more of those good plays. Playing the long game. And Byers, li listen. Great player. He's had a great season. Love Andy Byers. It's a shame we only got to see one season of him. But it's his final game. If he dies, he dies. If he gets injured, whatever. I'm going to throw that. Dude, I couldn't even see that other CB. Was he blending in with the sideline? Oh, he just had a wide open receiver. Blake Hayford seems wide open and bullet from Byers. Hayford first down. 18 yard catch by the freshman tight end. He's enjoyed a pretty good a pretty good season. Hasn't made any of the all Mountain West, all freshman teams, nothing like that. But he's been a pretty good player. Third and five. Two for two on third down so far today. Who is he not going to be blitzing? Let's see if the slant's wide open or not. I don't like it. I like it now. Michael Ham, make a man miss. His juke really isn't that high, so it is tough to make guys miss. Michael Ham's just kind of a guy where you say, hey, go run past them, that's fine, but make them miss when they're looking at you, a little bit more difficult. Seven first downs already for this offense, which has been methodical. We'll run read option. Fires could have gone up the middle. Probably should have, just lowered the shoulder. Got to remember to stay aggressive. It's the bowl game, that's fine. Read option, we are three for three on third down. Expecting this to be a touchdown here. Read option. Byers. Lower the shoulder. We're searching for contact on that one. It's an Andy Byers touchdown. He deserved a touchdown in this game. Andy Byers has been the quarterback 
for the best season in Riverside Royals history. He has been the best quarterback in Riverside Royals history. Andy Byers arguably has been the best player in Riverside Royals history. I think all three of those things can be agreed upon fairly unanimously. Maybe if not unanimous, it's going to be close, right? Like maybe some of you will point to, uh, I don't know, Greg Hall, Michael Hamm, even Adrian Chandler's had a great year. But I, I think what Andy Byers has done has been extremely impressive. And it would only be right for him to cap off, you know, our season with at, at least one rushing touchdown. As, and who knows, by the way, what would happen if Andy Byers was healthy in season two? Bunch of broken tackles. I mean, how many broken tackles? How many broken tackles for Juma Taviano? What's going on? But had Andy Byers been healthy for season two, and maybe it still was a season too early, you never know. But had he been healthy, as Johnson's going to pretty much sack himself there, they're going to give that to Greg Hall. Second sack of the game for Greg Hall. I guess he did make contact with his lips and blew him down. I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, maybe we're still a season away with the, with the roster. But who knows? Andy Byers may have been able to carry that team to a bowl game, potentially, which we just missed out on. And maybe not a Mountain West win. We still didn't have it this season. But Andy Byers, at least in my opinion, only here for a short time, really only get to see one season of him. But I think he is so far the best player in program history. Let me know if you disagree in the comment section below. And yeah, it is one season. I get that. But it's quarterback. It's the success of the team. It's everything. Rice going to try a field goal. What do college kickers do? They make them in the rain at range. Rice up to six points. Still a one possession game. As it's been for most of this game. Of course, it wasn't prior to that field goal. But three minutes and 15 seconds. I like our chances of scoring before the half. A lot more confidence than we had in the, uh, the previous two games. I feel like that loss just really killed our momentum and our confidence. And then we went on to play UNLV. We just didn't have it. Oh, I can see formerly the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. See that logo on the middle of the screen at midfield as Reggie Gonzalez will fight for nine. Hard fought, hard earned yards. You almost feel bad for Reggie Gonzalez. The offensive line really has not been amazing for him in his freshman season. That will change a little bit in season two. We've recruited some good offensive linemen. We have some offensive linemen who will continue to develop. So I like his odds of really doing something in season, in season four, his sophomore season. Because we're gonna try and throw for Michael Ham. Football just came out too late. Good pressure from Rice up front. Get out, Byers, get out. Lower the shoulder. Show off that power, Andy Byers. First down. We're not afraid to get aggressive. If I had a quarterback that could actually truck and that has pretty good carrying, man, I would do that all the time. <laughs> not about sliding. Really not. We're going to air it out deep. Michael Ham can't secure it. We had, we had options with Humphreys. We had the other vertical uh, open as well. We're going to show it again. It's just hard to know what that safety is going to do. We'll take a shot for Humphreys now. Underthrown, nearly intercepted. It's so hard to throw like one-on-one -on -one 50 50 jump balls. It just doesn't it doesn't ever get thrown far enough. Obviously makes it pretty difficult to pick up. Third and ten. Maybe trying to run with Byers again. Pressure from the other side. A ton of space for Andy Byers. Big block from Humphreys down the field. Byers makes a man miss. He'll stiff arm. And he has 30 plus. Six rushes for 81 yards for Byers. This is a vintage Andy Byers game. Let's get a touchdown on the board. Don't really like our options. Gonzalez, good power. Call a timeout. Second and one. Quick check down. Willie Briggs forward. And we'll call our final timeout. I really thought we were going to score a touchdown on like one of the previous plays. So the clock management was a little bit weird just because I had anticipated scoring a touchdown. But we'll settle for the field goal and make this a 17-6 game to end the first half. This was a pretty good game from us so far. Uh, you know, we didn't play perfect. You know, some penalties hurt us, especially at the end of the half there. 
But that's okay. Played pretty well. And uh, I'm excited for half number two. Excited to try and get this first bowl win ever. We have way more yards than Rice. 89 to 200 plus. They start with the football though. So they have the advantage in that department to at least try and close the gap there. Still a couple scores down. It's an option play. It's going to go to the running back. Clemens in pursuit. He can't wrap him up. Neither can Joel Pitts. Craig Jackson finishes the job. Come on, Joel. Final game, we're going to be missing tackles. To run right. Oh, they got space. They have space. They got blockers. James can't tackle him. Clemens got blocked out of the play. It's a huge touchdown by Juma Taviano. And Rice has closed the gap a little bit. I think I'd probably go for two here and make this field goal game, but they're not going to do that. Settle for 17-13. Getting out with Byers. He's just faster than these Rice Owls right now. 18-yard pickup. Trying to screen here. Get Willie Briggs the football. It's only right for the senior back. Get him a little bit more playing time, and he's earning it. Kind of. I mean, it's the last game of his career, probably. He's not going pro. Read option. Willie Briggs. Great distraction. Byers up the middle. 20-yard pickup. Andy Byers might rush for 200 yards in this game. They just don't care to play him. Third and nine. I like ham. I don't love ham, though. It's, a, it's an overrated meat. It's fourth and three. Could make this 20 to 13. I think we will. I think we will. Kick is up and good. We're at 300 total yards and up by a score. Clemens in the backfield, big hit. Quarterback got it off though. We make it to, dude, it's not, it's, I'm being magnetized away. It would not let me go near him. Like, even in the, like, I think it was a tackle animation, maybe, was why. That was crazy. I was literally going right at him, and it was like a force field. All right, first and ten. Run up the middle. Met the fullback head on. Changed direction, though, and it's a ten-yard-plus pickup for Taviano. He's averaging 22 yards per carry. Oh, our run defense is so bad. Johnson gonna run. Hall in pursuit. See, it's that little, it's that camera shift. Like, it, like he fumbled, but he didn't. Uh, I, it's so tough when that happens to try and make a tackle. Really is. I hate open field tackling in this game. I have to take that. Lobbing it. End zone. And it's picked off by Bruce Clemens. Finally. Tried to take it out and get crazy. It's the ball game, man. I think that might be his first career interception. Redshirt freshman. Good a time as any to make a play. In the ball game, in the end zone. Nice pick. Don Gonzalez out of the backfield. Oh, he just bounced off a would-be tackler. That's crazy. Nice throw from Andy Byers. I don't even know what that was. It's great contact balance from the five-star. Start of the fourth quarter. Need some more big plays in this game. Getting out and up with Byers. Oh, we got a blocker in Reggie Gonzalez. Let's get creative. Byers makes two miss. Breaks a tackle. Football came out, but fell forward a lot. Big gain for Andy Byers, and we'll take it. Now, how tired is Andy Byers going to be for this speed option? Answer is pretty tired, but Reggie Gonzalez isn't. Good pitch to him. He's got the corner. He's got the edge. Touchdown, Reggie Gonzalez. 44 yards to the house. And as a team, we go over 2,000 on the season. Well-timed pitch by the senior. He took a huge shot, but it worked out perfectly. To Reggie Gonzalez, massive touchdown. We got Hawkins into the game. We're getting aggressive here. Trying to shoot gaps. Give me a little check down. Ooh. Craig Jackson can't wrap up. Ottaviano is still going to be a yard short. How aggressive do we want to be on third and one? I think very. 
Also, Sam Brown has bruised ribs. He'll be out for a bit. It's okay. We have two very good, capable backers with him off the field. Even with him on the field. Broken tackle. There's Joseph Brown, but Giovanni Johnson clearly going to be great at breaking tackles, as are uh, the rest of every single, you know, quarterback we ever play. The rest of every single team always break a ton of tackles. Everyone we play is not tackleable, I think is what I'm trying to say. We have control of this game. We just need to continue to get stops. Johnson trying to run, and he will not be going far. He'll get a yard, but Phil Walker met him. I thought that would have been a huge game, but Phil Walker made a really nice play to engage on the QB, disengaged from the block. Second and nine. Make a play. Make a play. Paul shooting in. Quick throw. That's a nice tackle. Listen, time is not on the side of Rice. Yeah, they can get a score here. They still need to stop and a score after that. So I'm, I'm really liking where we are. A field goal from us even pretty much puts the game away. Third and goal is play action. It's going to be a check down. Hall can't wrap up. Finally, I believe it's Craig Jackson that does. And that will not be a first down. Time continues to tick off the clock for Rice in favor of your Riverside Royals. Fourth and inches. Do we bring the safety up? We do. It's to the running back, and Clemens can't make the tackle. Malik James can't make the tackle. What an effort from Jawan King. It's an 18-yard touchdown for Rice. And they are fighting to stay in this game. They needed to make a big play, and they did coming up huge. That was not good. And the Royals fall victim to King. The irony. These headlines write themselves. You know, I do think a field goal pretty much ends the game. We've been conservative with the clock the entire game. We've been trying to get time off the clock, and it's been working very successfully. The strategy was to win the game no, you know, any way necessary. And based off of the Rice offense and how much we've seen them break tackles, I don't want to give them the football very often. So we've tried to limit their possessions like we did in Season 2 with different teams. Gonzalez will have space. He's going to go up the field. Great effort from Reggie Gonzalez, as that is his 79th catch on the year. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, he got the football a lot, a lot of check downs, obviously. But I think his sophomore season, those check downs are going to turn into huge games. And we're starting to see that already. We're taking a deep shot. It's Aaron Duvall. He's a senior. Can't come down with it. Run for Reggie. Some of these guys are just sound tacklers. That's that's really it. It's hard to make these guys miss in space. Might be going deep here. We're doing it. One on one. Good play by the safety. Okay, we got a game. We have game. Rice gonna get the football back. You know what? It was the uh it was the joke deep shot to Aaron Duval that could be our end here. Just because he's a graduating senior. If that ends up losing us the game, I'm going to be really sad. Good tackle from Lee Mayfield, who should not be wearing number 23, by the way. We're going to do some number changes uh, in the offseason, of course, with the incoming players and all that. So the tight end is not going to keep 23. I can guarantee you that. Good tackle. Look at Sam Brown. Welcome back to the game, Sam. Second tackle for loss for him. Yeah, let's take a second look at that. Just powered through the block. Good stuff. Rice running out of time. Under two minutes now. We can afford to play a little bit aggressive, but not too aggressive. Don't want to get beat over the top. I don't think they have that capability. I will say that, though. Nice tackle. Craig Jackson in space. Now we're wrapping up. They get six. But that's fine. It's third and seven. They have a minute and a half to play. By the time they get this snap off, it's going to be less than that. Let's see. Bradley in motion. We're going to be responsible for covering him. And Johnson's going to take off. Craig Jackson has to make the tackle. Giovanni Johnson stretches across the line and gets it. Clock will stop momentarily. They're going into the hurry up. They're trying to make our defense tired. This is when we want to uh, catch them off guard and send heat and get after the quarterback. Quick little check down. Adrian Chandler got thrown off. 
But anytime they're short of the first down, that clock will continue to run. And it is not on their side. We are officially under a minute to play here in the fourth quarter. Final quarter, hopefully, of bowl action here in our first bowl game ever in the Hawaii or SoFi Hawaii Bowl, whatever it's called. <laughs> I should know what the first bowl game is. I should know the name. I think it's the SoFi Hawaii Bowl. Formerly the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. SoFi has the rights. 50 seconds to play. Take away the tight end. James out of the backfield needs to cover Bailey. And once again, he's short of the line to gain. Timeout Rice, that is their second. 45 seconds to play. They have plenty of time though. It's all about keeping them out of the end zone. And I don't want to get let them get close because we know what they can do. We know what they can do. And Ezekiel Sims takes it away. The senior in his final game with the interception to seal it. We have blocks down the field. Ezekiel Sims gets another and Sims will house it. Pick six for Ezekiel Sims. School record fifth interception. And the senior will go out on top. What a play by Ezekiel Sims. What a way to cap off his, his Riverside career here in the bowl game. What a finish to this SoFi Hawaii Bowl. What a season for Riverside. It had its ups and downs. It had its big moments. But none bigger than that to secure a bowl game victory here in season three. It's the senior Ezekiel Sims. What a play. One of the biggest, best plays of the series. We are just 13 seconds away from a bowl game victory for the first time in Riverside history. Rice doing a lot more than treading water here as this one is all but done. Tim Washington forces him out of bounds and Washington will uh, basically end this football game. Nine seconds to play, fourth and five. Could be the last snap for Rice one way or another. We'll see what happens. Check down, big hit Jackson. Broken tackle, that's a first down. That is a timeout by Rice, their final timeout. And it will be one final snap for Rice. Down 14 with four seconds to go. This game is mathematically over and the Riverside Royals will be Hawaii Bowl champions. Johnson is sacked by Chandler. Game, set, and match. That is now the school record for sacks in a season as the Riverside Royals walk out on top. Bowl champions. The play of the game, of course, is the game ceiling interception by Ezekiel Sims. Had an entourage downfield, had a caravan in the end, and had his biggest play ever. What a game. What an end to this third season of Riverside Royals football. A community college got to a ball game and was victorious in that game. I love it. I love it. So proud of these guys. Reggie Gonzalez is your player of the game. Two touchdowns, over 150 total yards. Good for him. And that is the final time we will see some of these great players. Andy Byers, Joel Pitts, Aaron Duvall. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for all you've done and best of luck in whatever's next. Video game immortality. What an awesome finish to a pretty good game. As we have officially won the Hawaii Bowl. Super fun. So proud of these guys, so proud of this team. But up next will be the off season video. I had a lot of fun in this episode. I think that finish really, really invigorated me. I'm excited. I'm probably going to record the offseason right now in real life. You guys probably won't see it for a day or two. But hopefully you are enjoying the series. Things are only going to continue to amp up here as we try and compete for a championship. Wasn't going to be this year, but I think we made strides. We made moves. Uh, we got, you know, going in the right direction. And I am tempted to do letter of intent again to get 3,000 extra points because we're going into the offseason now. What does Kitchen Sink do for us this week? Now, I know that's super important for next season. 50 extra points. I know it is. 
I'm conflicted. Because let me let me look at recruiting. Who do we really need? Because we're not going to be able to get everybody. I always deliver it. I go back and forth. I'm like, I'm going to set it up this way. And then I think about it. I go, no, I'm not going to do that way. This guy's more important. But I want Terrence Brown for sure. Need him. And then I'd like Clint Black. I'd like Russell Hudson, but he's a Juco player. It's not necessary. Derek Smith would be cool. But I really only need Terrence Brown. It's the only one that I need. Would I rather set up the team for next season? Plus 50 could end up being pretty big. I think I'm going to focus on the future. I think I'm going to focus on the future. We already have plus 1,500. Kitchen sink is so, so, so good. So that's going to be my focus for right now. What a game, though. What a season. Thank you guys for being along for the ride. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud.